channel. I'm Diamond Alexis. Today I'm going to be showing y'all what I eat in a day. Um, I don't like to say I have a restrictive diet, but I do have a restrictive diet. So I don't eat meat. Um, what I usually tell people is that I'm pescatarian, but when I'm not eating pescatarian, I eat vegan. So I eat vegan like 90% of the time, and then like maybe once or twice a month, I'll eat some like seafood, because I love shrimp, I love fish, and like crab legs, that's my favorite food. I can have gluten, and then I don't eat dairy, I can't have dairy, and then I can have fruit and sugar within six hours of each other. So, my, my diet's a little picky. <laughs> Uh, all this to help clear my skin because we're just working but um, I've had acne for 17 years 16 17 years I've had it since I was seven I'm 23 gonna be 24 in November so my doctor that I see did a food allergy test and those are things I can't eat well I chose not to eat meat but you know so I'm gonna be showing y'all what I do eat because, you know, they say it's better to focus on what you can't eat than what you can't eat. But that's kind of hard when it feels like you can't eat anything. But, you know, it's whatever. So my mom fixed some muffins yesterday. I don't know why she has it in a plastic bag. Because we have reusable bags, but I digress. She made muffins yesterday. They're gluten-free and they're sugar-free. Because they have blueberries, they're blueberry muffins. And like I said, I can't have fruit and sugar within six hours of each other, at the least. So they're sugar free and they're gluten free. Um, so I'm gonna eat those and then probably drink some water. Let me pour this water out. Get some water, it's the size of my head. Actually, she made infused water, so I'm gonna pour some of this in here, just a little bit. If I can open it. Ooh. Pour like that much. And then I'm gonna put some uh, filtered faucet water for the rest. So these muffins are good. I have to ask her what kind of muffins they are. I think they were already made muffins, like a mix. And she just had to add like a, like a oat milk. I think she did, she probably did like um, almond milk or something, I don't know. So yeah, I'm just gonna have this. Um, We're still trying to learn like how to do certain things for all of our diets because me my mom my stepdad and my older brother we all kind of have like different diets my older brother he's like vegan vegan like one of those like oh i'm not even gonna eat honey type vegans because <laughs> like i we still eat honey and stuff um like i eat eggs but he doesn't eat any of that. So we're still trying to learn kind of like how to fix things, what to eat, what we can't eat. Sometimes I'll slip up like at the beginning cause I just um, had my food allergy test done this year. And at the beginning, my face was still breaking out and I couldn't figure out why and it was because I would eat a granola bar that had sugar in it and then I would eat like some type of fruit and I can't have sugar and fruit which is like the hardest thing in the world I don't know why that's even a thing but it's helped my face clear up it's helped my um, overall health so I can't complain too much my mom can't have eggs. And then my stepdad can't have sugar at all. So, 
it's just a mess oh my mom is like me too she can't have the fruit and sugar too it's a mess <laughs> but it has been helping my skin i'm gonna put what my doctor is down below she's a almost like a holistic doctor she practices in like chinese medicine and stuff I started seeing her this year because I wanted to take my uh, skin seriously to try to clear it up because I'm tired of having acne and I started seeing an esthetician so she's been helping me with my skin I just had a chemical peel done like two weeks ago maybe three weeks ago I can definitely see a difference but I still have another chemical peel to do I have another chemical peel to do and then some microdermabrasion sessions. But y'all hear sniffing, that's Adonis. Dude. I don't know what he's trying to get up off this floor. Ain't nothing on the floor. So I don't know what he's sniffing for. He's probably waiting for me to drop some crumbs. It's not happening. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Say hello. This is Adonis. I'm sure y'all seen him in my other videos. He's a cutie. Say yeah, I'm a cutie. But yeah, I'm gonna eat my breakfast and then I'll be back. I'm sure I'll eat some type of snack between here and then. I took my watch off. It's 2.25. I'm gonna eat some lunch. I think I'm gonna eat some noodles. These are the noodles I get. They're vegetable noodles. They're vegan. My brother won't eat them because there are too many chemicals in them. Like I said, he's one of those vegans. But, you know, to each their own. I'm gonna eat them. <laughs> But yeah, what do they look like? Um, if you're in Texas, we get ours from HEB, but they have them at the Asian market too. So if you're not in Texas, you can get them from the Asian market. So yeah, I was debating on if I wanted to put kimchi in it, but the kimchi we have, it's vegan kimchi. It's from HEB too. It's spicy kimchi. And I've had spicy kimchi, but that spicy kimchi is spicy. And I like spicy food. So, ugh, I'm like, mm. So, it just has been sitting in the refrigerator. I'm going to drink some kombucha. This is the kind I get. It's my favorite kombucha. It's so good. It's the pickly, prickly pear. I had this when I was in college. We, I, um... Went to school, one of my majors, before I changed it. <laughs> I was going to school for nutrition, and in one of my classes, we had to make um, fermented stuff. And I, one group made kombucha, but they brought samples in for everybody to try. What did my group make? Or did we make kombucha? No, I think my group made kombucha. <laughs> a different group made hot sauce and another group made uh, kimchi. He was Asian. He's, uh, the guy in one of the groups, is, he was Asian. His mom made kimchi for a living. So, but it's my favorite kombucha. That's what got me hooked. College got me hooked. But I think my noodles. I don't think I'm gonna put kimchi because, like I said, it's really spicy, man. I like spicy stuff, but geez. That stuff is spicy. I'm gonna show it to y'all so y'all can see. It comes with these two little packets. 
This one's the dried vegetables, this is the seasoning. I don't like dried vegetables. I don't know if it's just me. I, I've never heard anybody else say they haven't like, they don't like dried uh, I haven't heard anybody else say they don't like dried vegetables. But I do not like dried vegetables. I don't know, like, you know, I know they rehydrate when you, know, you, know, you put them in water, but they don't taste the same. It don't taste good to me. I've never liked dried vegetables. That's why I never ate cup noodles because they always come with like dried corn and stuff like that. I keep saying dried, but dehydrated. Comes with like the dehydrated corn and stuff like that. That stuff is so nasty to me. It does not taste the same. I'd rather eat like, like actually fixed corn and stuff and then put it in my noodles. This is the kombucha. Kombucha, kimchi. <laughs> This is the kimchi. Like I said, I got it from H-E-B. I don't know where else you can get it. Um, I'm gonna put one in there, maybe two. It's the type of spicy, like when I eat something that's very spicy, I get hiccups. This is one of those things. So one thing about me, I never eat noodles for the fork. I always use chopsticks, but I'm definitely not eating with a fork anymore. I chipped my tooth. They, I went to got it, I went and got it fixed, so you can't even tell. I chipped this tooth. What well, was that last week? And then I went. Today is Thursday. I went on Tuesday. I went to the dentist. She fixed it. I chipped my tooth. Freaking biting on a fork. Everybody laughed at me. My twin brother laughed at me, my older brother laughed at me, my mom laughed at me, my dad laughed at me, my stepdad, everybody laughed at me, my dog, Adonis, he laughed. And that was so funny, they was like, how you took your tooth on a fork? I was watching Safari Ugly So on the shade room, freaking bit my fork. <laughs> but this is what the kimchi look like. I'm not gonna put too much, cause when I tell you it's spicy, it's spicy. But it is vegan, so. I'll just put that much. Oh yeah, my dentist laughed too. She thought it was funny. She especially thought it was funny because I said I'm never eating with a fork again. She's like, just eat with a plastic fork or something. I'm like, ma'am, I do not eat with plastic forks. I'm trying to kill the environment. No, thank you. I'm like, I'm just gonna stick to my chopsticks. Okay. Take this and put it in here. I should have fixed the boiled egg. Should have fixed the egg. It's okay, I guess. All right, turn it. I put turmeric in everything, literally. <laughs> and then this chunky black pepper. Pull up parsley, just cause I'm black. And black people love to garnish stuff with parsley. Every time my mom bring out the parsley, I'm like, please release, release my people from the shackles of parsley. They don't have no flavor or nothing, literally. Like, I don't understand the whole purpose of it. There we go. It's my noodles. And then my kombucha that I'm gonna drink. So I know what y'all are probably thinking. Diamond, noodles aren't gluten-free. Well, at least not these noodles. I'm only human, okay? Like I said, I only started this whole thing this year. I'm still trying to... Hold on. Child, anyways. I'm still trying to... Get used to not eating stuff I could before. Because, like... So, I choose not... I choose not to... Adonis! Adonis! I do. Uh, he just not gonna let me talk. Almost four o'clock. 
My mother's going to fix nachos tonight. Because we're eating just the regular Grammy. The rest. Yeah. We're eating it with a regular, real plant based brownie. So, cashew milk. What's the cashew milk for, Phil? It's the liquid that goes in to make the cheese. We're making the cheese sauce. Making the cheese sauce. This is the meat we use. Vegan. Is it? It's vegan, right? It's vegan. Yeah. And it's gluten free. Well, I say plant based, but all plant based don't be vegan. This is the seasonings. Mocajun spice, country bean, uh, garlic powder, or garlic seasoning. These are bell peppers. Are you cooking these in there? No, I'm just gonna eat these on top. Cause I don't like cooked bell peppers. I like them raw. She different. Yeah, I'm different. So we just gonna throw them on top. And then this is the cheese we use. This is good cheese. This is a mix. No, this is Kobe Jack. Yeah. They have one that's mixed though. And this, these are green onions. Green onions. Of course, your red tail. Red tail. Oh, and then the, the key ingredient. Oh, was it this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cream cheese. Get that, you guys. These are the chips we're eating. And then what's that for? This is tapioca starch. This is how I make the, it's, it comes in a big container, so I put it in here, but it's tapioca flour. That's what's gonna make it stretch like cheese. Mmm, okay, okay. So those are the ingredients. Mi madre makes the best nachos in town. Tell them, Mom. The best vegan nachos. She had to figure out how to make them good because I was... <laughs> No, you didn't. <laughs> I was struggling. Cheese is my favorite thing. Thonis, what are you doing? Leave it. Crazy man. Cheese is my favorite thing, and I'm so upset I can't eat it anymore. Cause nachos is one of my favorite foods. So me madre had to figure out how to fix it. Perfecto. So I wouldn't miss cheese as much. Even though I still miss it, but it's only been a few months, so I'm thinking once I hit the year mark, I won't miss cheese as much. But we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. We'll say hello. Oh, I guess not. Oh, say hello. Hello. Get out the trash, dude. I don't know how to flash this sometimes it needs to come out. That looks right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Looks like nachos. Mm. Don't you just want to swipe really? it all up? Really? Mm-hmm. Y'all watch Wendy Williams. She did. Oh. It looks so good. Mm -hmm. Are you telling me to do it again? No, it's for my uh, YouTube. Were you gonna put some on? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is that? Oh, that's right. Y'all put it in a bottle. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Oh, my man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That's it? Mm-hmm. So don't get this done. Got a little bit to what? Ten minutes? Probably. Nachos! These are my mommy's famous vegan nachos. Say hello. Hello. She doesn't want to be on camera. Mm. Mm. 
these peppers set it out. Mm. I'm not gonna put jalapenos. I just had that kimchi. Oh. <laughs> My stomach gonna be bubbling. There you go. I don't want that. I do kind of want one now. You don't taste a little spicy there? No. <laughs> Not at all. I don't even have a little spice to it. No. If y'all never have raw peppers, cooked peppers aren't good. The texture, terrible. Raw peppers? Game changer. Game. Stuffed raw peppers. Stuffed raw peppers. Amazing. Fantabulous. Cooked bell peppers. That are stuffed. Terrible. True. You talking about You ate them cooked. I know it, and it wasn't until you said to eat them raw, and I was like, oh my god, why have we been cooking them all this time? Plus, it's easy. You just cook your your the inside and stuff it in the raw bell pepper. It's amazing. The crunch with the warmth of the other stuff. Is good. It's fantabulous. I'm telling you, I'm a texture person. I don't eat mushrooms. Huh. Even though somebody keeps trying to <laughs> think I'm slow <laughs> putting mushrooms in food, like I'm not gonna notice. I notice. I don't think you're slow. I just put them in there because that's what me and Molly show. Well, I don't want them. They're disgusting. Anywho, I don't eat mushrooms. I don't eat okra. Tomatoes. I don't eat tomatoes. I don't. I'll eat tomatoes if it's like in nachos because the cheese overpowers it. But if I can taste it, I will pick it out. Um, what else I don't eat? Onions. But you would eat them if I cook them or something. If cut it's cooked, then I can't taste it. If I can't taste something, then I'll cook it. Oh, no, I'll eat it. If I can taste it, it's a no for me, dog. I can always taste mushrooms. Cause they're squishy. Mm. It's disgusting. You don't eat pineapples. I like pineapple juice. I just don't eat pineapples. They make my throat itch. But I like the flavor of pineapples. I don't eat. What else I don't eat? Mango. Same thing. Mangoes make my throat itch. Kiwis make my throat itch. I like how they taste. I just can't eat them. They make my throat itch. And like pray. <laughs> mm, oh yeah. Everything made his throat itch. Yeah. That's about it. That's everything though. Yeah. I don't like squishy stuff. Squishy stuff? It's a no for me, dog. So all that that you can't eat. Oh no, I'm sorry, that you don't eat, plus the things that you can't eat. Pretty I much is a little bit of nothing. Everything or nothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I said it earlier. You know, they always say, think about what you can eat, do what you can't. Mm. But it's hard when you don't eat nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's hard. Mommy makes miracles every day. You mm -hmm. eat every day. Mm -hmm. Dairy free, gluten free. I told them except for my noodles. Mm. My noodles have gluten. I'm only human, you know. I can only do so much. We want me to starve throughout the day. No, we don't want that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My top top food I won't eat though. Okra and mushrooms. I'm starting to think I don't like mushrooms more than I don't like okra. Cause I promise, every time I bite into a mushroom, I feel like my throat up. But all mushrooms are different, they have different textures. I don't care. I don't care. They're not all created equal. I don't care. Well, in my book, they are. But they're good for you. Mm -mm. I'd rather die. 
well, if I had to choose between eating mushrooms and dying, I think. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's I, not even funny. I think I would rather die. Because I don't like throwing up. And if I ate. Why you getting hair in my face? That's your hair. You ain't my hair. Sure, I like it. Oh, sure. That was curly. <laughs> my eyelash is not curly. My baby. I'm sorry. Anyway. I'm going to finish eating my food. Are you eating again? Nachos. It's what? 7.30 now. Mm-hmm. I put jalapenos. Because I want it sort of spicy. I like spicy food. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, you guys. So, it is nighttime, finally. It's 10.19. I think I'm going to drink some hot chocolate. I was going to drink some green tea. But I don't feel like getting the little ball thing. You know, you put the loose leaf tea in. I don't feel like doing all that. <laughs> so I think I'm going to drink some hot chocolate. My mom makes some of these. Um, we do seed cycling. So if you don't know what seed cycling is, um... If you're a woman who, even if you don't have a cycle, but if you have a cycle and you have like back cramps and stuff, definitely recommend seed cycling. Um, look it up. Uh, this, right now we're eating pumpkin seeds? Sunflower seeds. So this is made with sunflower seeds. So we eat sunflower seeds from the full moon to the new moon and then from the new moon to the full moon we eat pumpkin seeds i think i'll put it on the screen if i'm correct or not but um basically we eat these it helps balance your hormones and stuff i stopped taking birth control uh since eating these because i don't get cramps and stuff anymore and it's helped my skin during like my cycle and stuff so definitely recommend these. If you don't want me to talk more about them, I will. But yeah, so I'm going to eat two of these because you have to have two tablespoons. So. Mm. Mm, mm. Mm. Okay, I'm a liar. I lied. I'm going to drink some tea. That um, seed cycling stuff had dark chocolate in it and I forgot so mm, I can't drink this tea it's strawberry let me find a different tea oh I'm gonna drink it anyway <laughs> I ain't got confidence I want some tea hmm. I really want green tea but all we have is loose leaf green tea and I don't feel like doing all that that's too much i need to start the dishwasher well i'm gonna end this video here i hope y'all like this video um I really didn't eat as much as I usually eat today, probably because I was actually busy today. I actually had stuff to do today. Um, so usually I, like, I'm eating snacks and like chips and stuff. I didn't eat any of that today. I literally ate the food y'all saw and it was like a meal meal, like breakfast, lunch, dinner. Um, but yeah, I hope y'all like this video. Make sure y'all comment down below what kind of videos y'all want to see if you like this video um if y'all have any recipes 
that are like gluten free or dairy free or you know don't have fruit and sugar together recipes or even just like snacks and stuff let me know because i be looking for snacks right now i've been craving like graham crackers but graham crackers of course gluten and i can't have gluten um that's what i've really been craving lately i just need more snacks because the only snacks i know of that i really can eat are chips and chips aren't all that great or like fruit but it's hard to eat fruit because then i won't be able to eat things with sugar um only fruit i can eat with sugar is like melons so like we have a watermelon i can eat sugar or drink sugar and then eat watermelon or like a honeydew melon or cantaloupe which ironically all those are my favorite fruits <laughs> but sometimes i want like a strawberry or a grape and i won't be able to eat it so but yeah let me know any suggestions y'all may have um this is a journey it's been a journey but i'm getting better but as you can see sometimes i'm just like man i want what i want but make sure y'all like and subscribe leave a comment and i will see y'all in my next video bye